In 1957, a young woman named Mary Brown sought assistance at a rescue mission for men in Houston. Because there were no facilities for women, she was referred to Mrs. Laura Sampson, a local church and community leader. Mrs. Sampson took Mary into her own home and, with the help of friends, soon established a place where women in need could get help. In the decades since, the women's home has expanded and evolved in many ways. But we have always stayed true to the overall mission of helping women in crisis regain their self-esteem and dignity, empowering them to return to society as productive, self-sufficient individuals. We are really looking at two main objectives at the moment. The first is to continue providing high-quality, client-centered services to the women in our long-term treatment program and at Jane Sizzik Garden Place, our permanent, supportive, sober living apartment community. The second objective is to build an additional housing complex for the growing homeless population of single women and their children. In addition, we are proposing a new community center called the Whole Life Support Service Center. Major public and private donors are needed to fund the project, which will help us all positively impact the lives of many more families. In 1992, we developed a model of care called Whole Life. This extremely effective approach addresses six areas of wellness, emotional, financial, physical, social, spiritual, and vocational. Both our long-term treatment program and our safe, affordable housing community are immersed in this approach, which addresses healing the whole person. The positive outcomes are reflected in lives transformed, which can be evidenced in sobriety, mental health stability, an income for self-sufficiency, and stable, permanent housing. First and foremost, we truly love what we do. Our employees, our donors, and our volunteers are passionate about helping women in need, and that translates into successful outcomes. We're also very committed to transparency, and we're trusted stewards of the funds we receive. As a result, we're a Better Business Bureau accredited charity and a seal holder with the Wise Giving Alliance. We are also aware that to accomplish what we want to accomplish, we must evolve with evolving needs. We're not stagnant or stayed, and we're not above looking at new and more effective avenues to success. This organization truly works to combine the methods and approaches that will best benefit our clients. We help the women in our care set practical living goals and develop real-world skills through a combination of individual and group therapy, case management, and vocational training. The success of our clients and residents is rooted in cultivating the skills and self-esteem necessary to move forward and live a healthy, productive life. More specifically, this means a commitment to sobriety, emotional and mental health stability, a steady source of income, and a stable living situation. Many in our community simply don't know enough about what we offer. We are not a short-term shelter. From the moment they walk in the door, we provide women a full spectrum of support services and a safe place to heal. At the Women's Home, we transform lives and give them the chance to positively affect others. Definitely, the successful completion and opening of Jane Sizzik Garden Place in early 2011 is a major accomplishment. This addition of permanent supportive housing more than doubled our operational capacity and expanded our scope to include services geared toward low-income or homeless women and their families. The complex is one of the few in Texas that achieved Silver LEAD certification, or Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. We also received the Outstanding Community Service Award from the Texas Homeless Network. In addition, the Women's Home is one of 15 agencies in the nation, and the only one in Texas, invited by the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, SAMHSA, to participate in a national work group charged with identifying best practices in providing sober housing and treatment for homeless women.
Historically, there's been a severe lack of funding for mental health and addiction services in Texas. Texas is one of the lowest ranked states in the nation for mental health funding. We are encouraged by legislation, which appropriates an additional $312 million to mental health and substance abuse services, and we hope this commitment continues. Our fellow citizens with mental health and addiction issues cycle through our jails and emergency rooms on a daily basis. We need to erase the stigma and create an open and honest dialogue about proactive solutions to preventing homelessness. In addition to the significant capital campaign funds necessary to build our permanent supportive housing complex and community center, we are in need of renovations to our existing facilities. Our most urgent needs include kitchen and bathroom rehab and new siding on one of our transitional apartments. Major renovations and equipment replacement are also necessary in our commercial kitchen at our dorm facility. We would love to add a new coat of paint, signage, and classroom furniture at our cottage shop thrift store. It's people like you that make it all happen, and without the ongoing generosity of donors, we simply wouldn't exist. There is certainly a gap in safe and affordable permanent housing for single women and their families. With the funds raised through our capital campaign, we hope to bridge that gap and offer not just housing, but a safe home with the support necessary to change lives. The women's home is not just about providing a place to live. We want to provide a place to thrive, a place to feel pride and dignity, where barriers to opportunity are tossed aside. It is possible. And with the generous support of donors and volunteers in this community, we can make it happen.